What's going on stackers? So in this video we're going to be talking all about high demand, low competition niches just so you can get a better understanding of how it all actually works. Now if you're new here my name's Paddy and every other day I like to bring out videos teaching you all the tips, tricks and strategies that I've learned to help me make passive income here online so go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos so high demand low competition niches is what most people look for when they go to create books. Now I do this sometimes for multiple different reasons and I have lots of different ways that I actually do research into a niche. But in this video we're just going to cover the basics so you can get an understanding of what to look for with your high demand low competition niches. So let's actually head on over to Amazon so I can show you what to look for. So one of the things that you are going to need is a Chrome extension called DS Amazon Quick View. So if we go over to Google and then type in DS Amazon Quick View, you're going to find this Chrome extension. This is what you want because this just makes things a little bit easier as it brings the BSRs to the forefront on this first page instead of actually having to go through and click them. So as we can see here, it's pulled up the BSR for this. So this is what we need, DS Amazon Quick View, just so it makes things a hell of a lot easier. Now, if you're brand spanking new to KDP and selling on Amazon, a BSR, this, this is the BSR. BSR stands for Best Sellers Rank. So this is where this book is ranked within the whole bookstore, so pretty low. And the lower that number, the higher up the rankings you are. So I just thought I'd say that as well. So when it comes to actually finding low competition, high demand niches, it's not that hard. You just have to put in the research first to find these books or these niches or whatever. So with this one, this is coloring books. This is going to be very saturated. There's going to be a lot of books in this. And we can see that from here. So coloring books alone has 60,000 results. So over 60,000 results just for coloring books. So this isn't going to be low demand. This is actually high demand because there's a lot of books. So if we have a look, we got the 60,000 books, not what we want. And if we look down, the BSRs aren't that great, especially on this one. Well, this is a sponsored anyway. Well, in a second, I'm going to show you exactly what to look for so you can find those niches. But I just want to show you an example of this. That's 54, 317. Perhaps actually this is better if we just go to books. Let that load up for a second. The number's going to change here now because we got it on books. So there's 80,000 results. And if we scroll down, we can see the BSRs. 54, 198, 390, 101. So the BSRs for this is really good. But you'll have a hard time ranking because there's 80,000 results. Now, ideally, <clears throat> what you want to do is get this number as low as you can. Ideally, again, anything under a thousand. So you want anything under a thousand here, and then you want the whole first page ideally to be under 50,000 BSRs on all of the products. That way, you know that it's going to be a high demand, low competition. The high demand is seen by the BSRs, so this has a 12,000th BSR. So this is in high demand. And then if we look here, this isn't low competition for this keyword because there's 80,000 results. Now, if we go over to a different keyword, a different niche, which I did find, I found this because I've been looking a lot into keto. This is ideally the metrics that you want to be looking for. So dirty keto diet for beginners. Now, this isn't a low content book or a no content book. 
this is just research I was doing and I thought I'd share this so I didn't have to go and find a different keyword with high demand and low competition. But this one, Dirty Keto Diet for Beginners, has 326 results. So it's under that thousand that we're looking for. Then if we look at all the BSRs, go past, past the sponsored, we can see this one just under or just over 2,000. Then we have just over 4,000, 67,000, 1,000, 26,000, 62,000. So when you're doing the research, this is what you want the first page to look like. You want this number, the BSRs, on all of the products to be as low as possible. And then you want the results just here, ideally to be under a 1,000 as well. So that's what people mean when they say, Sorry, nope. When they say high demand, low competition. So the low competition comes from here because there's under a thousand results, so it's low competition. And the high demand comes from the low BSRs because the lower the BSR, then the more those books are selling. So I hope now you have a better understanding of high demand, low competition. One thing to note though is you do not have to follow this way of finding niches. I do this sometimes, not always. I personally just find books and publish books in, I don't find books actually, I find niches and then publish books in those niches. I have a lot of niches that I'm actually in as well, which helps, but I don't always follow this rule and you don't have to either. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.